Hello, my name is Monene Kelvin, an SEO specialist here at Wordlift. Um, and today we're going to be looking at how we can use the Wordlift Luca Studio Connector to see unique insights in your knowledge graph for your e-commerce websites that you can use to know where to put more effort or um, where you're actually doing well um, as you continue to um, improve your entity-based SEO. So we already know that um, Wordlift helps you to um, annotate the products on your on your e-commerce website, right? Um, and add attributes like uh, the color, material, um, the price of a product, and ultimately that helps you that that helps Google to to um, better understand the product that you have and also be able to show it to um, the right people, right? So um, what if we could see that data um, in real life? So for example, um, for this page, we can, we can see when we look at it, uh, this, so this is, this is just a product here. Uh, when we look at it uh, at the knowledge graph, we can see that it's, it has um, these unique attributes that have already been, um, that has been annotated with. Uh, so we already know that uh, it, it's, it's in the clothing category for this website. Um, the color is white. Um, the other unique um, attributes here that we can look at, for example, like uh, the, the price. So for price, um, if we look at offers here, we can see um, things like price. We can also see that uh, the currency of that price is, is in GBP. Um, so if we wanted to see the performance of these unique um, attributes for products, for example, um, which of your products that are, that are in white, are they performing well on, on search engine results page? So that you don't end up just annotating products uh, with with all these attributes, but you don't know what their performance is. So for us to do that, um, that's where the Wordlift Luca Studio Connector comes in. Um, so my colleague David already did an introduction video to the Wordlift Luca Studio Connector. Um, it's it's going to be added somewhere in the description here. Uh, but for today, we're going to be looking at how to use this Luca Studio Connector to um, look look at uh, to see all the performance of pages that have been annotated with all, with all these different um, entities right and the first thing that we need to do is to update the graph ql query that you that comes with your wordlift um with the wordlift Luca studio connector right now so uh the default query looks like this um and it's it we realize that it majorly favors editorial websites. So if you have a blog or a new site and, and all that kind of website. So this is where you would add your, your Wordlift key. And then, so this, this would be your query. But this query doesn't really um, help us to look at, so we want to look at unique um, attributes, right? Uh, so we don't need all this data about um, mentions and, and references and all that stuff. So we can change it. Um, and instead of looking at entities, we can change these entities and only look at products, which is what we've done here for the demo that we are going to be uh, looking at today. So you notice entities changes to products. Um, and a few other things happen if you if you compare the two. Uh, the other thing that we add here are attributes like color. So uh, there's color, material, um, the category, and... Uh, and and price so you'll notice um for 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 the color and the material you basically just have the um the query looking like that and but for for others for example like the offers you'll notice that it's um a little deeper because like we we saw here um the price is not uh, typically just like the name of the product or the SKU. So this is not the value. So you have to click on this link um, and then you go to the next page, which is this one. And that's where you get to see things like the price. So that's why um, you notice that little difference when it comes to the, um, the query for the offers. So just jumping into our report here now, um, we can now see these attributes and their performance live. 
so this is the uh, this this is broken down in terms of impressions uh, for the past 28 days and um, excuse me uh, and uh, it shows like I said price material and the color uh, of of all these products that we're talking about so in a scenario where you wanted to find out um, which which um, material is doing really well on 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 your Google Saps or which color is actually performing very well, um, you can quickly see this. Um, maybe another use case that you'd probably want to to use this is um, if you wanted to know um, what how how has the performance changed since you uh, probably annotated a, a certain page or a, a group of of products with the color, um, has Google actually picked up uh, this uh, uh, this change, and is it doing something about it? Are you getting more impressions, more uh, more uh, uh, a higher position? Um, yeah, so that's that would be an interesting thing to see. Uh, so I'm just going to click on on the color, and we can uh, sorry we can try and see what what it looks like and the configurations just to, to go a little deeper. Yeah, so uh, what what we're doing here is we're using a blend um, and the blend uses data from uh, the, the KG, the, the knowledge graph that uh, we saw here and search console. So when we talk about performance here, um, it's all organic because uh, we're getting it from, from Google search console for this website. Uh, so that's that's what the blend has. Uh, so just to give you a quick glance of what the blend comes with uh, is that you can get all these different attributes uh, for from the knowledge graph uh, once you have your word lift key, and then uh, you can configure this to get only uh, specific uh, data from Google Search Console. So in this in this case. Uh, we're getting the average position impressions, click CTR for these attributes that we're talking about. So the color price and and, and material. Mm, the other thing that we have here, so the, the metric we already talked about, that we're all looking at impressions. Um, the other thing that we've done is also to, to add a filter where um, we want to exclude any page that does not have um, the color. Uh, annotated with the, with the color, any product that has not been been annotated with, with the color, uh, so that we don't get any null values over here. Um, so what that filter, this is what that filter looks like. So you basically just exclude um, anything that does not have uh, the, the product color in the KG. Yeah, and, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so if you want to use any of this chart, play around with it. We're going to be sharing um, a template for this as well. Um, and you, you can feel free to, to add your data and play around with this chart and see anything that would be interesting for you. Okay, I hope that helps. Bye-bye.